Hi guys, this is Ibrahim Khalil from my channel IKSOP BD Hope doing well In this tutorial, I will show you how to save or insert data in SQL Server database using ASP.NET using class Guys, if you do not subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel Let's go to a start Guys, here you see I already make a project uh, I give name save database and I added a form I giving name home and I added a class CLS main for database connection in my previous tutorial I showed you how to connect SQL database with ASP.NET uh, now again I repeat if you do not watch my previous tutorial I will give you the link in description please watch the video here i give a form which name home and i am going to open web config and for connection string here i already write the code connection string name ppl cn string this is the name and then connection string data source desktop which one is this one and initial catalog test db which is database name user id sa and password sa123 integrated security to and provider name sql dot data dot sql client this one for database connection and here you need to write code in class cls main this is for connection string public string cn string and public sql connection gbl con is equal to new sql connection and public sql command gbl sql cmd is equal to sql command this one for database connection and if you want to connect with form then you have to go form dot cs and here cls main SBL CLS is equal to CLS main, CLS main CM is equal to new CLS main, and in load event you have to write this code system dot web configuration dot web configuration manager dot connection string then PPL CN string which one is this one and connection string and then SBLS dot ZBL con is equal to connection string dot is equal to sbcls dot cn string guys this one for database connection and now i am going to show you in form here i take four text box employee id and text box name is txt employee id employee name txt employee name designation txt designation and then salary txt salary and here i also took button save update search and delete in this tutorial i only showed you how to save data my next tutorial i will show you how to update data how to search data and how to delete data now i am going to show you in sql server management studio and here is the test db which one is my database and emp info table already i create a table and i showed my previous tutorial how to create table database if you do not watch please watch this tutorial video and here i am going to run sql select query from emp info as you see here is no data exists and when I am enter data here and data will be saved here so let's go to a start that's why I'm creating a class for save or insert data for time consume I just copy paste copy and paste here and here you see uh, public void insert update because uh, next video I will show you only this class I work 
insert and update so you here that's why i giving name insert update string gbl query and if gbl con is not equal to your null and gbl con dot state is not equal to connection state close then gbl con i mean connection string close and then sql command gbl cmd is equal to new sql command gbl query comma gbl con gbl con dot open mean connection string open and then gbl cmd dot execute non query guys when i write query for save then call this class and execute here so let's go to write code for save i am just double click this button okay guys here some problem now you have to double click the save button and then create btn save click event so when we enter data here and click save button then data will be saved in database sql server so now here need to write query sql query and here also this query also i showed my sql tutorial so here you see i also added a mess label uh, lbl message for showing the message which one we wrote here so first of all lbl message dot visible is equal to false and then i'm going to write code for insert data then as the cls dot um, insert update and then in bracket then insert into table name emp info then table uh, column name and do you here see the id name designation and salary so here also you have to write same spelling name and then designation and then salary and then you have to write values then, then bracket and here you write first of all sorry comma and then plus then Another plus and then sorry txt employee id because first one is id and then employee id dot text <coughs> sorry text and then dot trim for no space below is enter and here you see only only double quotation i used because id is integer for name here use single quotation and also double quotation and then plus and then txt employee name dot text then dot trim then in bracket and then for designation because designation also like name I mean marker so I used here also single quotation and then txt designation dot text and then dot trim and then another last one is salary salary here i data type give money so that's why here no need single quotation only double quotation 
have here txt salary dot text sorry for this text dot trim and then okay guys here I did write code for insert update insert update this one insert update I just call here <coughs> this SBCL SBCLS this one SBCLS CLS main and insert into your print for table name ID name designation salary values and here I give the text box name name and now I am writing here LBL message true true and then giving a message LBL message dot text is equal to first here I write success so guys <clears throat> for the first time for save data I am going to run my project here I write id1 name colon designation id insert and salary 50,000 and now I am going to click save button Here you see there are some problem in current center near the keyword in. So I am going to solve the problem. Okay guys here I mistake just uh, gap one space is here but into is this type. So this one is mistake. So let's go to start. Run the project and here i giving id1 name colon designation id in charge and salary and now i'm going to click save and here you, you see the message successfully inserted now i'm going to database and here i see you select query and here you see already data is inserted so guys this is the simple save query for insert data using class now you see another problem here I showed you sorry have to open the form when I am going to save same ID then here is problem will be arise because I already gave ID primary key so you have see the problem so that's why I need to write another class first of all we need to check data is exist or not so that's why I am give here another class and which is named data exist dbl con database close and then open SQL command data exist query ZBL con just data reader and this query using this query we check data exist or not so now this is the data exist class and this class we used in here so I am for timing I am going to here I'm going to this one copy and here adjust paste string SQL query here select all from EMP info where ID is equal to txt ID and then SB CLS dot data exists select query to a string is not equal to is equal to zero that's mean here I call data exist data exist class and data exist query and here you see if is equal to zero then execute this one otherwise 
else this one so here you see i just take a <coughs> variable sql select query and then select query is equal to select all from emp info where id is equal to txt dot text if data is equal to zero not exist then save query is running and if fully updated and if sorry here also need a second packet and then the otherwise lbl message is equal to true and message will be showed this id already exists so i'm going to run project So same data I enter and click save button and here you see this ID is already exist and if I give another name and then TSO and then save and successfully insert it and I'm going to school database and run the query and here two data is short so guys already I showed you how to insert data using class in ASP.NET and just I am going to summary the tutorial here I take a form which name is home and here I take for text box and <coughs> save button sorry save button update button uh, save button and update search delete I will show you my next project here first of all I wrote connection string for database connection and take a class CLS main and I write this code for connection string and then in form here I wrote this one for connection string and load event I also wrote this code for connection string and then I am going to double click save button and first of all I just click this one this line for insert and then <clears throat> and then I am also write a class for insert update and then write code here only this line then data is inserted and next time for checking that data exist or not I take another class for data exist which name is data exist which name is data exist and then here I wrote also string script query and then is it zero then run this one all else run this one so guys if you like this video please like and if you have any comments please write the comments in comment box and guys if you do not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel bye for now thank you for watching